Can you show us around? Hi Cora. Hi mommy. So what are you going to do today? I'm going to show everyone around baby's room. Wow, I'd love to see it. to our nursery yes this is baby Sophia's room slash my room because I have a bed here okay yeah so this is Sophia's nursery and I'm so excited to be showing you guys around today a little backstory this used to be my filming room guys yes I had a whole setup in this room where I used to film all my videos but when I discovered that I was pregnant I decided that I have to convert the room back to a baby room okay because this was supposed to be Ava's room anyway long story yeah so I have converted this room to the nursery and I love this space so so much because this space is very functional okay yeah the room might not be you know Pinterest worthy you know or Pinterest standard but the room is beautiful to me and it is very very functional I am very particular about it being functional because as a mom of three right now I don't need anything that is not you know useful to me I need everything to be you know organized and put where they're supposed to be so yeah um, without wasting much of your time let me just take you around the room okay all right guys so once you enter into the room you're just going to see the wardrobe on this side and this part of the wardrobe is the part that is most useful to Sophia and ta -da! <laughs> so here she has her dresses hanging and then down here we have her extra supplies so we have her diapers, her wipes, um, some other stuff, her um, detergent. So yeah, basically here we just have, you know, her extra supplies and her dresses. She has a lot of clothes. So in here, here is more my space than hers. I have my stuff here. I told you guys this was my filming room. So technically this is still my room. A lot of things here are still mine. Um, those are my books. And this side I have my wigs. Yes, these are actually <laughs> Ribena cutters. Yes, you can see this one. I didn't cover the, the bottom because this paper finished. I didn't cover the bottom, but this is actually Ribena cut cotton. I just made it, you know, very functional for storing wigs. Uh, that's my wig. It's inside a wrap. So I made the pack. This is the cover of the Ribena basically. I just cut it and did some things to it and I made it like this. So once I cover it, I put it back where it's supposed to be. Down here, I have my bed sheets because like I told you guys, I have my bed in this room as well. So those are where my bed sheets are. Um, inside these drawers, I just have a, a lot of random stuff. Um, hair things, extra supplies, a lot of extra, extra stuff. And some of my work stuff are inside these drawers here. I don't need to bore you guys with all that. That's it for the wardrobe. So now let me take you guys to my favorite part of this room. Okay, yes, it is my favorite part of my nursery and that is her changing station. Yes, guys, this part of the room is my favorite part of the room and we actually spend a lot of time at this corner. Um, this is where she has her bath in this space here. We bring her standing bath here and you know bath her and then put her on her changing mat and then we change her. So yeah, I'll show you guys that maybe when I show you our you know morning or night routine. I love these frames. These frames are amazing. They are not matched here. I just bought them separately but they look good together. This is just a rabbit that you know that I just picking and that says love which is basically the theme of my home okay yes the theme of my home is love <laughs> if you watch my children's um, room review you understand what I'm talking about anyway you guys this floating shelf I made it myself well not myself I designed it myself and I you know showed the design to Yuli interiors and she's the one that made it I absolutely love it I love when you can just tell people what you want and they get your ideas immediately so yeah I just thought that what I wanted and you know she got it they made this um, floating shelf in fact I think she named it after me so you can get it on Yuli um, interiors website 
yeah she named it after me okay all right <laughs> so anyway yeah i made this floating shelf and the reason why i wanted it this way is i wanted us to have a space where we can hang baby's outfit so what we hang here are her next outfits what she's going to wear either at night or during the day we just hang it here in preparation for her changing or her bath time and all that and then on top of the shelf we have her favorite toy yes yeah, she doesn't have a favorite toy right now but this is my favorite toy for her and it's this pink elephant i love it so much and then we have my favorite book for her which is god gave us you i love that book so much and yeah so this dress i'm just keeping this dress here for you know beauty purposes <laughs> I don't think it's even her size yet, but that's what I do. Sometimes I just put any dress that I like, I just hang it there. It doesn't have to be what she's wearing that day. There are still other spaces for what she's wearing that day. And then here, we have her changing mat. I got this changing mat from Whitney's here in Port Harcourt, in case anybody is interested. Because someone has asked me where I got the changing mat from. I got it from Whitney's. Initially, I was skeptical about buying it because I preferred the more sturdy ones. The ones that are actually like structured you know this one is more like a matte mat you know it's yeah it's really a changing mat okay uh but i really love it it doesn't move you know it is really nice here and i love the design it actually goes with the theme of her room as well so i got it from whitney's here in Port Harcourt. this basket is just a sentimental piece i got this basket from my parents home and i've been carrying it along with me everywhere and anywhere like any house i go to you know i don't just know why i cannot get rid of this basket it's not new it's not fancy you know i've just used a white fancy basket before but i just decided to continue using this i used it for cora that's my first daughter i used it for ava and now i'm using it for this baby i love it i don't know there's something about it i just love so much i think someone used it to give them a hamper or something it was a hamper basket and i've been for years so this thing is years Years. I'm talking about years. <laughs> I'm talking about at least more than 10 years. I have had this basket from my parents' house. Um, so inside it, I have everything she needs, you know, for bath time or for you know changing time. Yeah, so I have her diapers, I have her wipes, I have her body cream, olive oil, diaper rash cream, um, you know, basic stuff, everything that I need every day, they are inside this basket so it's really easy to grab what you need and just go when it's time to you know get her ready or to you know bat her moving on down to this drawer i designed this drawer as well and told you the interior and then she made it for me well it's not like it's a unique design or anything like uh, yeah i'm sure everybody has seen a drawer that looks like this but i told her exactly what i wanted the dimensions height whatever i told her exactly what i wanted and she made it for me i love it so much yeah i'm just going to quickly show you guys what is inside okay down here we have her trash can yeah anytime we change her hair diapers whatever we just throw it straight into there and then we empty it it's really lined with a you know plastic bag but it's not the plastic bag is not there right now but we usually line it with a plastic bag so whenever we change her wipes diaper whatever we're throwing away from here cutting boards straight down there you don't need to travel to go and throw them away once they are full or once you know it's the end of the day they carry it and go and empty so in here we have her you know extra stuff extra supplies we have her grooming stuff here combs uh, nail cutter stuff like that and then in here we have her onesies these are all onesies these are her tops and these are leggings you guys i made these drawer dividers myself i used a carton and just wrapped it with contact paper i just you know did some magic here and i got drawer dividers i'm going to see more of them in other drawers um here she has her hair stuff these are her socks and these are her hair bands all kinds of hair bands different shapes colors sizes yeah they are in here that's the only stuff that's inside here and then here she has her overalls these are her nightwear she wears these at night these are her receiving blankets she uses them at, uh, during the day sometimes at night these are bob rags so you can use this receiving blanket to carry her and the bob rags you know in case she has speed ups and then these are all her towels different shapes different sizes different uses but yeah i also made these drawer dividers i mean like i said i made drawer dividers myself just so that you know things are not just all over the place inside the drawers because the drawers are quite deep and you know 
very special so i had to use draw divider so that here is not just chaos okay and then in here we have all kinds of blankets and bed sheets these are blankets blankets this is a wrapping um swaddle blanket 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 this is a bed sheet as well yeah so then down here we just have some extra stuff nothing much extra stuff nothing much yeah so next we have our sleeping area so this is my bed and that is my breastfeeding pillow because sometimes i breastfeed her on the bed or i lie down and breastfeed her while she's lying down beside me uh yeah just it's my bed basically nothing much to see there <laughs> okay um, this is my side table as well nothing much to see there it's just bed and side table <laughs> okay and then the last area i would like to show you guys is her sleeping corner yes this is her crib you guys know my story with this crib i tried to sell this crib i tried to give it out but the crib did not want to leave my house because someone was supposed to come and use it okay yeah so this is baby's crib this is where she takes naps during the day yeah she takes naps here during the day she hasn't started sleeping on this bed at night but i'm thinking of you know transitioning her to this crib pretty soon uh we'll first start from sleeping in this room on this bed and then putting her here so that i don't have to come from my room at night to just come and feed her so i'll sleep here while she sleeps here and then with time i can go back to my room permanently while she sleeps here all night um the nanny cam hasn't been installed yet but we have a nanny cam so once i put the nanny cam we're good to go okay um yeah i have these frames as well this one says i love you to the moon and back this one says dream big little one fun fact when i bought these frames i actually bought the prints and then yuli frames i got the yuli interior i got the frames from her okay yeah so when i got these prints this print was actually a very vibrant gray you know um pink and white and then for some reason it's faded have you guys heard of art fading this is canvas a canvas print or whatever have you guys heard of it fading like <laughs> this is my first time experiencing that but yeah it has faded but it's not bad it still looks good with the room it just looks like that's how it was made but yeah it actually faded to look like this it now looks more pinkish than gray which i don't mind anyway so yeah that's just her cream this is the bumper this is the mesh um, crib bumper just because it's breathable very simple yeah this is to prevent babies from you know sticking their legs out of the crib it can be it can be really painful for babies when they stick their legs out of the crib for now that's not a problem because she's not moving much but i just put it there whenever she starts moving i don't want to start rushing to put it you know at that time anyway yeah so the last thing i'll show you guys is her laundry basket yeah this is her laundry basket okay is always here at this corner so anytime we change her we just you know put her clothes in the laundry basket and then at the end of the day or the next day we empty his wash and you know yeah that's it and this is my rocking chair i've had this chair since i had cora so i always rock her to sleep on this chair i also breastfeed her on this chair i love it she loves it we love it okay yeah so guys i actually love that i have this space for sophia yes it might not be spectacular it might not be pinteresty like i always say but to me it is all that plus more i love this space so much like it's my happy space i can still film here if i want but yeah i love it as a nursery and then there's actually a bathroom here so if i want to have my bath here or if i want to use the bathroom i don't need to leave this room i have everything that i need in this room aside food okay but she has everything that she needs in this room if i am in this room <laughs> okay yeah that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video let me know the part of the room or the item in the room that you like the most and if you like to make inquiries about anything that you saw in this video just leave your question in the comment section i'll be sure to reply and tell you where i got the items from yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video <laughs> Bye guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs>